Hello creative friends, this is Joy coming to you with another art journal page. So on this uh, particular journal page I decided to put down this napkin that has butterflies on it. So I am just trying to remove any extra layers on the napkin. And I have this bottle of gesso that um, was used up and I just put a little bit of water in there to water it down because I like to use watered down gesso on some of my projects. So I'm just emptying out the gesso that's on, that was in the bottle, the watered down gesso, so I could spread it around on my page. And I'm using um, a paintbrush that I have dedicated for um, spreading gesso. And I grabbed another bottle of gesso because I didn't have enough here. And I'm just using uh, the water on my brush to help spread that around so that I can get the page cover good and covered with the gesso and then I'm putting down the napkin now usually when I do this um, I don't have too much trouble with this but for some reason this napkin was giving me some issues with wanting to rip and tear in the middle you could see there it's starting to wrinkle and it started tearing and I was trying to <laughs> Get the um, get it to you know stay down, and then I grabbed my roller, and that was just making it worse. So this was fighting with me a little bit. I've never had this happen to me before. Um, so then I started kind of just pushing it down, like just stay on the page. So um, I got some tears and some rips, but I thought, well, whatever I put on this page, hopefully will cover where it you know the napkin tore. And at this point, I really didn't have a clue what the heck I wanted to put on this page. As a matter of fact, um, I wasn't even sure if I was going to use this page for anything by the time I was done with it because I was a little frustrated with the napkin not sticking to the page and it wanting to wrinkle and rip and tear. And uh, so by the time I actually got it on the page, and here I was um, working, you know, from the inside out and that kind of seemed to help a little bit uh, better um, but by the time I got done getting this napkin down I just kind of set it aside to let it dry and decided I would deal with it later whether I was just going to rip the page out and start over or what I was going to do. So it sat there for a couple of weeks actually because again I just could not figure out what I wanted to do with the page, but I decided, you know, I could do something with it. So here is after it sat and dried for a couple of weeks and I was over being frustrated with it, um, I decided it needed some color um, on the page. So I grabbed my watercolor um, and started putting some blue on the page with uh, my watercolors and my watercolor brush here, as you can see. And I wanted um, it to get darker as I, as it went out, like the middle I wanted lighter and then I wanted it to get darker and darker as it went out um, and have it the darkest around the edges of the page. So this was what I was attempting to do at this point is, um, you know, get some blue on the page and then I was, you know, wanting to get it to where it, you know got darker as it went out towards the edge of the page so I put a couple of layers on here um, of the blue and then tried to you know get it to fade lighter uh, towards the center um, but I don't know that you know all of this effort really uh, paid off because in the end I think most of this got covered up anyway and, and you don't really I don't know if you could really tell but you'll see the final project in the end and then you can you know decide whether you know you think it was really worth um, all the effort so I um, dried this real quickly and um, again thinking about what am I going to do with this page I thought about you know putting a face on the page and I've seen where people do these really elaborate kind of like headdresses on these you know ladies and I thought that would be kind of fun I've always wanted to do one of those myself and maybe this would be you know a good
page an opportunity to do that. So I found this face in a magazine and I'm just trying to trim out, you know, um, the picture and how I want it to go on the page. And I grabbed my gel medium to adhere this down to my page. So I finally um, figured out, you know, how, where I wanted it and how I wanted it on the page. And I'm just using my gel medium on the back of this picture. And I also go over the top of this picture to make sure that it's, you know, down really good and that it's good and sealed so that it's on my page. Um, I did have to put a little bit of extra underneath because I wasn't, um, didn't have quite enough on there just by painting it on the back and um, using the credit card to help smooth it out. And so after I get the, this uh, face down, I did set that aside to dry as well. And I went through my stash and I found this, you know, word that I liked and it says gorgeous and I thought would go good with the page. So I put that on there too to cover up um, that little bit of script that was um, by her face. Because um, I, you know, obviously wanted to, you know, not have that there. So I thought, well, I'll just cover it up with something else. So here I'm going through my stash and just trying to find, you know, different things that I want to put on this page and on the, you know, headdress of this, um, this face. And I got these doilies and I thought that made a, you know, really pretty, you know, background. And then I had some other ephemera from some different packs of uh, ephemera that I, I had purchased and I have these flowers that I went through to try to figure out, you know, um, what flowers I'd like to put on the head. And so I show a little bit of this, but um, since it took me a while to figure this all out, I do skip ahead here. And I like these flowers, they're prima flowers, and they're really pretty and I really like them you know, when I can cluster them together with uh, three or four different colors, shapes, and sizes. Um, and I just, you know, think it, they're, they're really pretty. And I've got different color brads that I'll use um, for the centers of the flowers. So I do end up figuring out what combination of flowers and colors that I want to put on the headdress and, um, I, you know, adhere all of them together with uh, different color brads. So here I finally figured out the combination here. And the cards uh, that I have are from a K and Company pack. And, um, and then the one I cut up for the little fancy script here is from K and Company as well, um, an ephemera pack. And I'm just using some Craft Bond quick drying glue to glue everything down. And um, well, to glue most of it down and I also have some craft um, bond sticky dots uh, that I use like on the flowers and stuff so that they, you know, get adhered um, down good to, to the page. And here I just am trimming up um, those little, the corners and stuff. And so that they, I guess it looks like that that's, you know, the way they're supposed to be. But I, I really, um, and they have, you can't tell from this video, but there is actually some glitter on those um, corners there. And they're, it's, they're, it's really pretty. Hopefully in the detailed pictures at the very end, because uh, at the end I do try to show some close-ups, you'll get to see that. So here, those are the, the cards. And this is um, where I have it all laid out, and I'm trying to adhere everything down to the page, uh, the rest of the things, elements down to the page with the, the bond, uh, craft bond sticky dots. And that's um, a butterfly. Actually, I have like, I got them from a yard sale um, and a whole collection of these butterflies. And I've been using them here and there on, on projects, but uh, I really, you know, they're actually on a wire, but I just pulled, the wire, pulled them off the wire and then I have these little paper flowers 
that I use to kind of fill in the gaps around the headdress because there was a few gaps there and just to kind of make it a little bit more um, fuller and to add a little bit more you know uh, to the headdress and I'm picking some of the the orange and purples and stuff to cut that seems to go with the colors you know from the prima flowers and I'm using the, the craft bond sticky dots to put those down as well and um, I really like the way this page turned out it turned out really cute I don't you know I might do um, you know another something similar to this again someday we'll see it was fun to do something different than you know what I've you know done before and I have these little gems and I just wanted to put some of these gems around on the headdress as well to kind of you know make it a little more dressier and for some reason um, they weren't sticking down as well as they should have so I did have to put some glue on a couple of them and so then I grabbed my Posca paint pens because uh, I felt like that there needed to be like an outline on the word and on her and um, this is a, a pink that I'm using around the word and I also um, used the pink to trace around the the picture but this is pretty much the art journal page for this week hope you guys liked the video and if you did you can hit the like button or if you would like to see more of my videos you can hit the subscribe button or you can leave me a comment I would love to hear from you I hope you guys enjoyed the video for this week and I hope you try this yourself sometime it was a lot of fun we'll talk to you guys later have a good week bye bye